Hey, hello everyone. This is your Bollywood spy, यानि कि आज ये दिव्य सोलगमर इस वक्त मेरे साथ मौजूद है Bloody Brothers की बहुत ही खूबसूरत सी और बहुत ही प्यारी प्यारी सी शूटी से and Tina Desai. You know, सबसे पहले तो congratulations on the fantastic trailer. बहुत ही different है, thrilling भी है, quirky भी है. लेकिन आप लोगों से जानना चाहूँगा experience कैसा रहा और response and feedbacks कैसे रहे. Uh, Tina, आप बताइए. Um, <laughs> I wish you would do this. Um. This you want me to talk about the experience of the story? Sorry. पहले तो response कैसा रहा trailer का और उसके बाद. But this certainly, like you're saying, there's a lot of intrigue. Um, uh, everyone's very excited about the casting, especially of Jaydeep Singh Zishan. Um, everyone uh likes the fact that the, the, not everyone's able to tell, so that's a good thing with the with the trailers cut about what it is beyond the accident. Um, and so there's certain. curiosity for sure um and everyone's able to tell that there that it's a thriller and that there are a bunch of like characters who don't seem you're not able to judge what they are um and so yeah so that's that's the initial reaction that i've been getting uh i think uh, jaisa ki tina ne kaha ki of course कास्टिंग को लेकर इमीडिएटली सब बहुत खुश हैं जयदीप और जीशान को एक साथ देखकर एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली मुझे अभी तक लोग देख नहीं पाए हैं ट्रेलर में क्योंकि हमारा थोड़ा हिट एंड मिस है एंड आई एम लुकिंग अ लिटिल डिफरेंट द शो बट ऑफ कोर्स जैसा कि टीना ने कहा कि बियॉन्ड जस्ट एन एक्सीडेंट ज्यादा कुछ पता नहीं चल रहा है ट्रेलर में और we take that as as a win because that's what's going to get people to want to come and watch the show to figure out ke ho kya raha hai and uh, once not able to gauge where the characters are on which side are they black white gray which shade all of that and uh, uske alawa i think uh, uh, interesting baat ye hai that uh, while it's a thriller mm. it's also funny and intriguing and i think it's a interesting mix of genres in my opinion so i i really hope the audience can catch the humor and the intrigue at the same time yeah actually i do want to add like as an audience also i'm really really fond of like the comedy thriller genre because it it makes it light also and i love the suspense also so it's, for me as an audience also it's something that uh, i'm very fond of या वो तो पूरा नजर आ रहा है बट आप दोनों ने बात की जयदीप एंड मोहम्मद जीशान की तो उसके साथ साथ यू नो स्टाकास बहुत ही अमेजिंग है विद सो मेनी टैलेंटेड पीपल इन द एंटायर शो आल्सो डायरेक्टेड बाय शाद अली तो अब जो ये वाला वर्किंग एक्सपीरियंस था उसके बारे में बताइए light and easy show to do so i was very happy to do it because i have just come off of bombay diaries and that was very intense like every scene we had to be like our adrenaline levels were here and uh, you know we were doing every scene like one or two once or twice that each and so it was you know very like peak emotions all the time um and so to come into this after that you know where your your character is light and easy um the story is easier the, 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 it's a lot more enjoyable the pace of it was not as mental um the situations were a lot lighter so i really enjoyed it plus off camera we had a lot of fun it was a very easy going set like shruti was saying recently uh, just a while ago that everyone's egos are in control so it wasn't like difficult to hang out with everyone even if they came in for a few days it was nice and um easy going so i really enjoyed it as a filming experience um because i also you know it's it's nice to have that break and also as a viewer as a as a watch it's a light and easy watch you know it's not, not something that will bog you down or whatever so in every way i thought it was a good um sort of project to work on um honestly for me i had done a, a daily show on star uh, just before we went into the lockdown Uh, which was very intense uh, you know shooting wise character wise because i was playing a, a negative character for the first time in my career mm-hmm. almost a, a a villain of sorts so for me uh, while that was very exciting and it was a change of of character for me from what i have played all these years i think uh, to come out of corona virus and uh, to go back to work uh, i think i could not have asked for a better show because uh, jaisa ki tina ne kaha the cast the crew the overall vibe the the place uti in itself 
आई थिंक एक तो क्योंकि हम सब एक बबल में काम कर रहे थे देर वॉज नो रिस्क ऑफ गेटिंग सिक विच वॉज समथिंग दैट आई थिंक एवरी वन वॉज कंसर्न अबाउट गोइंग बैक टू वर्क सो वो सुकून से काम करने का का मौका अच्छे लोगों के साथ और आराम आराम इतमान से बिकॉज आई हैव टू से दैट शाद इज इट्स 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 शाद एनर्जी दैट काइंड ऑफ टेक्स ओवर द सेट इज अ वेरी रिलैक्स काम डायरेक्टर आई थिंक आई बेली सॉ हिम गेटिंग एंक्शियस मे बी वंस और टू टाइम्स ड्यूरिंग द एंटायर शूट वन आई वो शूटिंग विद हिम वो बहुत ठंडे दिमाग से काम करते हैं so i think that kind of permeates in a set you know the the energy of the director pretty much establishes ki sab kaise behave karenge to sabka kaam at least mere aas paas jo bhi the bahut pyar se bahut uh, uh, halke tarik se tarike se hua and uh, because we want working very hectically mm-hmm. uh, we all had lots of time post shoot also to sort of decompress and 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 hang out and uh, the the cast was really nice sab बहुत बहुत अरसे के बाद सेट पे आ रहे थे सो एवरी वन वॉज जस्ट हैप्पी टू बी बैक विद अ नाइस बंच ऑफ पीपल एंड आई थिंक यू विल सी दैट ऑन स्क्रीन आई आई थिंक आर ऑफ स्क्रीन एनर्जी हैज समेर ट्रांसलेटेड ऑन आर ऑन स्क्रीन परफॉर्मेंसेज तो श्रुति आपने टेलीविजन की बात की तो यू नो 2011 में आपने शुरुआत की थी उसके बाद आपने कई बड़ी बड़ी फिल्मों का भी आप हिस्सा रही इंटरनेशनल फिल्मों में भी काम किया और बाद में ओटीटी तो इतना और यू आर आल्सो वर्किंग इन टेलीविजन तो कितना डिफरेंट होता है ये वर्किंग प्रोसेस वेल ऑनेस्टली आई थिंक यू नो द गैप दैट वाज बिटवीन टेलीविजन एंड फिल्म्स ऑल दीस इयर्स इट वाज अ वेरी डीप सॉर्ट ऑफ चाजम सो टू स्पीक कि आप अगर टीवी में हैं तो फिर आप फिल्में नहीं कर सकते अगर आपने फिल्में की हैं तो फिर आप टीवी नहीं कर सकते वो जो एक एक एस्टैब्लिश नॉर्म रहा है that gap has now been filled by ott because now the actors are are finding a a a, a common playground so jo filme karte hain wo ott bhi kar rahe hain jo tv karte hain wo bhi ott kar rahe hain so it's finally i think the most democratic medium uh and yeah that's a nice way to say it yeah it's it's quite lovely that you know the the actors are finally now now it's merged now there are no clear lines ki yeah. aap television yeah. actor the ya aap film actor the yeah. ab aap actor hain and i think yeah. that is something that this industry really needed because that how it that's how it is in most uh, industries abroad uh, we were very clear ke aap we won't let you cross over and not whether you allowed or you didn't allow the thing is television by itself is a highly pressurizing medium uh, it's uh, heavy on timelines because you know it's every single day to aapko mauka hi nahi milta aur kuch karne ka because you're just literally trying to get on the air on the day or shooting films on the other hand have been this larger than life canvas they've always had more time more budget so on and so forth i think ott has managed to bridge the gap perfectly in terms of budgets in terms of storytelling in terms of timelines so i really feel that this is one of the best things that has happened to creators and performers both and uh, what's interesting is that now it's going to give people the opportunity to have a volume of work yet not be bogged down with you know working non stop and at the same time it's for posterity kyunki aap mera show kabhi bhi dekh sakte hain ab aisa nahi hai ki aapne telecast miss kar diya to aap nahi dekh sakte ya aapne film theater mein nahi dekhi to aap nahi dekh sakte it's going to be on uh, uh, you know on on platforms and it's there for a long extended period of time so the love for it keeps on coming keeps on coming keeps on coming so i think that's been quite a wonderful uh, transition in my opinion आपने भी 2011 में आपने डेब्यू किया था कुछ बहुत ही कमाल की इंडियन फिल्में तो की इंटरनेशनल फिल्में की ओटीटी भी किया और ओटीटी में भी आपने अगेन इंडियन एंड इंटरनेशनल दोनों में काम किया हुआ है तो आपसे जानना चाहूंगा कि कितना यहाँ पे कितना डिफरेंस रहा है राइटिंग एंड दैरेक्टर्स um like i remember when i started acting i was very worried about how to play the bubbly girl in 20 different ways you know because when i started off it was still the love stories that were being made um and so i'm like so i have to fall in love with the guy and be charming but i have to be different about it and every i was very stressed about that um and now i'm actually getting stuff you know whether where the girls are twisted where like she said negative mm. um or even just like really mature strong girls you know where they, it's not 
male dependent it's not uh, a romantic angle there's actually stuff going on in her life she's independent she's got a mind of her own and she's doing things other than falling in love so i think that's a very very welcome change um in terms of uh, also it's like the, like she said the platforms you know it's like the demands of storytelling have changed because of what is like people don't want to see the same thing again and again they want to be surprised you know so be it a medical story be it uh, the, the 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 fbi the cbi the the um armed forces you know whatever you know legal stuff um there's a lot of so much going on in the world and so many stories that you can tell your biopics you know that there's there's that potential now um where the the story is be, is actually paramount not the actors uh, or not the stars rather you know whoever brings value is being cast um so much is related to the budget you know now it's not it's a 3 crore film it's a 50 crore film now it's like dependent on the story and the requirements of the story it's not about going abroad to do the songs so i just love that every that the audience requirements have changed and therefore we're catering to that and everyone's just gotten more mature less hung up about beauty less hung up about um the floss and more about grit and grime and like this is this there's actually all of it being made um and so if you want to do the dance and the you know this is the musical and so this potential for everyone to thrive um and so you can actually pick and choose what you want to do so you can you know do one really dark heavy intense story one really light one you can know, you can dance your i just love that uh that's actually now a possibility but you have worked in you know international film and ott like the uh, the best exotic mario uh, actors union whereas there there are so many things like the hours you work what time your lunch is given to you how many off days you have um what rights you have as an actor you know um the unions actually making laws in terms of uh, you know love making scenes or nudity um there's so much over there that's actually being done which i don't hear about here Mm. um and so i feel like that's something that can definitely change i know that i used to have a problem with the hierarchy of the system like that it was so star driven that i was very unhappy with how unapproachable um some people can be but that's slipping away as well and i think that's credit to ott um but other than that a lot of it is driven by culture you know their culture their requirements different from our culture our requirements some things that we excel at they haven't even heard of something that they excel at we're trying to you know um bring about in our system so that's a lot about that and budget of course you know like since it was a insane as 20, 125 million dollar project for a show so we were like traveling that was a superbly blessed project you know we were traveling like 17 cities in the second season so that was just that felt like a joy ride you know um but Uh, that doesn't say anything about the um regions other than the fact that they're global because it's english and so it has a wider audience um and so that's not a negative on us it's just that we don't have it's still improving now because of subtitles and everything more viewership but i don't know if we'll ever reach 125 million for ott but um and the director's attitudes of course you know like uh, you know that can uh, influence your work attitude your professionalism how easy or difficult project can be but that again that's personality based not so much industry based shruti aapne you know tv pe bahut sare comedy matlab shows kiye comedy kafi ki hai bahut kam aise hamare yahan pe actresses hai jo comedy ke liye jaani jati you know last agar hum kisi ki legend mein baat kare to shri devi ji ka naam aata hai us hisab se lekin kahin na kahin ye aapko laga tha ki ye aapko kahin pe hold bhi kar raha tha kyunki of course hamare jis tarah se hamare industry mein hota hai ki ek agar aap zyada kisam ka kaam karte to uske baad usi kisam ka kaam aata hai एंड देन उसे ब्रेक करके आपको अगर आप ये शो ये शो कर रहे हैं आप वो नेगेटिव वाला सीरियल कर रहे हैं तो वो काफी टफ हुआ रहेगा आपके लिए सो बिल्कुल सही बात की आपने कि यहाँ पर अनफॉर्चुनेटली हम बहुत जल्दी टाइप कास्ट हो जाते हैं 
एंड ऐसा है कि अच्छा आपने ये काम अच्छा किया अब आप यही करते रहिए and then what ends up happening is that of course because of the lack of opportunity well, i'm obviously going to want to keep working to mujhe jo bhi mauka milega main kaam karna chahungi par phir kyunki main dobara dobara wahi characters play kar rahi hu there's a quick burnout so your career gets limited to having just played one kind of roles in a very brief period of time and then after that nobody wants to see you so it's a it's a huge disservice that i feel the industry does to its actors and i feel ki agar aapko kisi ka kaam pasand aa raha hai and you think that this person is capable of doing something you have to give them that opportunity to show that there are various different characters and actor can play um having said that i think uh, i i won't deny that main khush rahi hu ki mujhe aisa mauka mila hai i've worked with with fantastic people on really fun stuff work has never felt like work kyunki hum show par एक्ट करते वक्त ही इतना हंसे हैं वाइल परफॉर्मिंग वी लव सो मच बिकॉज द लाइन्स हैव बीन फनी एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स यू नो इट इट गोज ऑन टू स्क्रीन एंड इट्स नाइस टू सी दैट यू ऐड जॉय इन पीपल्स डेज एंड जब मुझे लोग मिलते हैं कहते हैं आपका शो देखकर हमारा बहुत मन खुश होता है तो आई वुड से एज अ एज एन एक्टर आई फील वेरी लकी दैट पीपल एसोसिएट मी विद समथिंग दैट ब्रिंग्स जॉय इन टू देयर लाइफ बट इफ यू टॉक टू मी एज एन एक्टर आई डू फील दैट आई विश आई हैड मोर अपॉर्चुनिटी uh to push the boundaries and luckily like dinet that now ot ott is offering that to actors we are experimenting with with new characterizations women are getting more interesting more complex more twist to play which were inherently just kept in the first ab ladkiyon ko bhi alag alag kaam karne ka mauka mil raha hai and uh, i'm hoping this is just you know uh, the the step in the right direction and more and more more interesting complex female characters will come to the fore 100% also like in cinema agar cinema mein baat kare to gangu bai ne filhal you know magical 100 crores ka mark cross kar chuka and that too in such testing times yes. to aapko lagta hai ki ek ek jo waqt tha pehle ke madhuri dikshit shri devi rekha hema malini ke बनते जो फीमेल सेंट्रिक बड़ी बड़ी फिल्में बनती थी अब वो वापस वो दोबारा वो फीमेल सेंट्रिक बिग फिल्मों का दौर वापस आ सकता है यू नो आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ आई शुड जस्ट चैंपियन द फैक्ट दैट अ फीमेल लीडिंग कैरेक्टर हैज मैनेज्ड टू गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ क्रेजी ओपनिंग एट द बॉक्स ऑफिस सो इट्स अ ह्यूज विन फॉर ऑल वुमेन इन द इंडस्ट्री नॉट जस्ट द एक्टर्स इवन फॉर द डायरेक्टर्स आई थिंक one could say that uh, maybe the audience is maturing enough to now start going after good stories and they don't care who is playing the part they want to go after characters and after after story lines so one would like to believe that uh, how much of it is true i don't know uh, i'm sure that you know sanjay leela bansali's fan club of course uh, will play a huge part in coming to the theaters but the fact that the word of mouth has spread so much uh, it it must be some testament about alia's acting prowess as well you know um i think it you know there was this movie that i watched uh, um what is it called anjam where i was like so struck at um, madhuri's um character she's so yeah. strong and vengeful and for a reason and i've always wondered why this hasn't always been a thing it's not like we've not had amazing uh, female uh, actors in the past um and she's you know she was completely the one in control in that movie and i'm like why is this more, not more common when there is potential you know i was very interested in that story so i feel like it's always something that should have been done um I don't know why it's happening now. I mean, there have been fights for women's lib for a long time now. Yeah. Um, I, I I find it really strange that it's still something that we're having to struggle with this day and age. Um, anyways, better late than never. It's happening now, but I find it a little weird to even be discussing this. You know, when people talk about e- equal rights and equal pay, I'm like, really? In like 2022, we're having these discussions? It's absurd. Um, so I mean, we're very late. We should have been doing this like. उटिंग 
no it's not like anyone did badly they were beautiful right. at their you know in their dancing they were beautiful you wanted to fall in love with them really lovely charming characters but then what else i suppose you know everyone i feel this way i don't know if i'm right or wrong i feel like everyone lacks the courage you know i think when everyone's making a movie there's just so much at stake there's so much time that goes into it and you're blacklisted if something doesn't do well that no one wants to take a chance everyone's afraid of doing something new and out of the box so everyone just follows a pattern if one actor blows up and does a really successful movie everyone wants to use him until then nobody touched him why was he not a good actor before that no if someone does a thriller and that does really well everyone wants to make a thriller why was it not an interesting genre before genre before that so it's just everyone likes courage everyone wants other someone else to make the first move and when they do it's like oh yes of course now since so now the audience is accepting it therefore we can do it no the audience was already i always accepting you just had to make the first move um so i mean i don't know what that still is the situation you know now if like two or three hindi um, um, movies do with do well with girls everyone will happily do it um if you were just thought of that story five years ago it would have done then as well so i mean i don't know what to say i find it quite quite silly वैसे तो सवाल बहुत सारे हैं लेकिन वक्त का तकाजा है तो जानना चाहूंगा इसके बाद क्या हो रहा है श्रुति गो फर्स्ट uh i am actually uh, just about to leave for uh, a film that i'm shooting in bhopal uh i'm sadly not allowed to say much right now but uh, yes firstly we're waiting for the release of uh, bloody brothers on the 18th of march on z5 and i really hope that the audience finds the the story the characters compelling taaki hum apna dusra season jaldi bana paaye and uh, it, creators out there feel uh, motivated enough to write interesting female characters which i have to say that even though the show is about bloody brothers all the female characters in this show are extremely exciting extremely yeah. complex very layered and they've been performed by fantastic actors so i'm i'm going to i'm going to root for the girls <laughs> and all, all the female characters even though they don't show up in the title uh they play very very pivotal important uh plot twisting parts in the show oh yeah <laughs> we should make we should make sure they do it uh, every time they do the same thing um it's i have it's going to affect the sequel is ka it can be bloody sisters next <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah dina um i have after this uh, bombay diary season 2 uh, we go into it very soon and then i'm i really want to talk about this new project that i've got but i haven't signed the contract so i feel like it's i should not so that um, still being worked out right now but that's an upcoming project that i will be working on this year and it's a very 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 exciting character something i've been like dying to play for the last 3 years and i've been auditioning for stuff and it's finally worked out um so i'm very excited give me maybe 2 weeks and i'll tell you uh, more about that one chaliye we wish you all the best and thank you for being with us Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.